A warm hello to you joining us right now on The Property Show. You're watching our North Ed Edition. If you're out in the market to buy property in Delhi, Gurgaon, Noida, Punjab, Jaipur or any other top location in the north, then this is the place to close your search for your dream home. Guiding us today with his analysis is Dhruv Khanna, Assistant Vice President at Prop Equity. Dhruv, thank you so much for taking out time for us. Coming up today on The Property Show, we have developers in NCR beginning to look at ways to close the trust deficit between them and home buyers by promising fair play. What are they doing? Stay tuned for that. Smart property options for every budget from Noida's top performing micro markets. We also take a look at the luxury villa segment of Greater Noida. In a 2 crore plus budget, does it make sense to buy a home in this sub-city? And then we go completely budget. Watch out for options under 32 lakhs in Ghaziabad. All the way across to New Gurgaon region, what are your options here under 90 lakhs? In Punjab, best residential options in 50 lakhs in Zirakpur. And on Citizens Voice today, we rally together with residents of Gurgaon who are taking charge against illegal cell towers in their societies. First, our top story. Governments have changed, interest rates have dropped, the economy is gaining momentum and everything from free gold to easy payment plans have been offered. But still nothing seems to be bringing the buyer back into the property market to book a home. We at The Property Show have been repeating time and again that home buyers in India deserve fair play from their builder if the sector is to revive. Now from the looks of it, the first trickle of change may have begun. Let's take a look. At NCR-based real estate developer Puri Constructions, preparations are on for their new launch. Not the launch of a new project, but of a pledge to people. The developer is initiating an NCR-wide campaign to send a message directly to the home buyer that they are pledging their all to win their confidence again. I felt that uh, you know, it's high time that we as an industry change uh, some of our practices. Um, I felt that, uh, you know, the customer today has lost some of their confidence in us uh, as an industry and therefore there are some simple changes that we need to make in our business practices. If we want uh, market conditions to change, then we have to uh, look within as well. Uh, we can't just uh, hope for uh, there to be a magic wand uh, waved by the government or uh, by the econ economy out there. Uh, we have to do something ourselves as well to make this change. At a time when developers have thrown their hands up over talk of doing more for home buyers, Puri is using the proposed real estate regulation bill as its template to offer a completely new deal to its prospective customers. Puri is pledging to its buyers that they shall have the right to a 100% refund without any deduction of earnest money within 30 days of the booking. They are offering the right to equal penalty for delay in completion. Puri is promising that there will be no change in the area once sold and they will declare their carpet area. Buyers will have the right to no construction escalation charges. Puri is pledging to sell only after getting all requisite government approvals. They will maintain all the money in an escrow account to ensure construction progresses in a time-bound manner and their last pledge is the right of home buyers to a first free transfer. But this is the case of one real estate developer. Is the sector as a whole willing to adopt such radical changes to revive market sentiments? President of developers body Credi says that at least the sector has realized that the answers lie within their own firms. It's, it's just unfortunate and bad luck that people made wrong decisions. So they ended up earning a bad reputation. Maybe they overstretched themselves, maybe they didn't plan their finances properly. There was no intent to cheat people. It just so happened that because of a bad decision or because of a bad uh, organizational or operative policy, the project got delayed and it couldn't be completed. So people are now rethinking that. So how to avoid this without having the intention to cheat people? Why you branded a cheat? So they want to rethink this and redo things the right way so that this doesn't happen. But when is realization going to dawn on the real estate industry's untouchable top tier? JP Group, Unitech, BPTP, MRMGF, Parsavnath and the likes. In the last three years of the real estate slowdown, we are yet to hear from these behemoths 
about how they plan to kickstart their stall projects or how they plan to compensate their thousands of allottees for the emotional and monetary distress they have caused. If they are unwilling to regulate themselves, when and how will the buck stop with them? With camera person Sumi Deogam, Vasudha Sharma, NDTV. Okay, so the campaign that Puri Constructions is launching, is this a sign of things to come? Let's ask our experts who are joining me today. I have with me in the studio Yogesh Singh, partner Tri Legal. And also joining us is Ashwinder Raj Singh, Chief Executive Officer, Residential Services, JLL. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, Ashwinder, coming to you first. Uh, now, Puri Constructions is candid enough to admit that there is no magic wand that is going to fix the sector. If you want home buyers to return to the property markets, you need to give them a fair, a free and a transparent deal. Uh, what they're doing is pretty radical. Do you think other developers will also follow their example? I think they are going to get a first mover advantage. What they are doing is radical, but what they are also doing is something which uh, some of the developers should have done early. I really, you know, welcome the move. Finally, it is all about self-regulation. They are trying to do many things which have been also stated in the regulation in VERA. So, excellent, because, you know, this time it is not a technical thing, it is a sentiment thing, you know, and once you start reposing faith, once you start telling clients that we are with you, we are thinking customers, you know, most of the problems will get sorted out. Exactly. It's no longer a technical uh, slowdown thing. It's all about sentiments today. Yogesh, do you think we have to stop blaming uh, the government, the economy, oil prices, interest rates? Uh, you know, finally, it has to boil down to improving the confidence crisis in the real estate sector. Do you see this move by this developer as a healthy sign for things to come for the sector? Is this the first trickle of change? I think so, though I, w I have to say that it's also as much of a marketing gimmick as anything else. The reality is that buyers aren't interested in buying real estate. Every month we talk about there is somebody or the other who is doing a distressed uh, asset deal. And therefore, developers need to come up with new ideas. If uh, I haven't seen the exact adverts, but if what uh, the new the developer in question is doing is uh, actually coming out with very clear statements of intent announcing very clearly that they own the land and promising exact things not in a very long statement but in easy to understand language for the common man i think that's a welcome move okay Ashwinder, coming back to the sentiment issue that you spoke about, now the crash in this sentiment that we're seeing in the real estate, real estate sector, uh, it, it's also largely because of all the large players who, sit, who are sitting on these large land banks and a huge inventory that, that they are yet to deliver. Uh, when will the buck stop with them? Uh, if a player like Puri Constructions is willing to go out there and offer equal penalty to its uh, buyers, uh, what's stopping the large players from effecting a turnaround in their practices? See, it's a matter of time. This is going to happen and, you know, some people are going to do it in a self-regulated manner. Some people are going to get forced to do it. But it is a matter of time because the customer has become very smart. The customer has shown that finally client is the king. They have desisted going into offers which they did not feel they were confident. Their due diligence has improved. They have started, you know, going to the right set of advisors. And therefore, the overall, you know, momentum in sale has been the way it has been. But I'll just give you, <clears throat> you know, an example. You know, the overall sentiment is already on the upswing. I'll give you uh, an example in Hyderabad. Hyderabad has seen a 67% increase in sale from quarter 4, 2014 to quarter, quarter 3, 2015. Now, this is despite Telangana, this is despite the global financial crisis, etc., etc. Because, you know, finally people who have to buy a house and stay in that, they can wait for so long. So, you know, I think the markets are bottoming out. It is going to be a two-way process. The customers are also kind of who are sitting in the fence have started, you know, becoming a little more active. And these steps which maybe Puri has taken is only boosting a customer's confidence to go out and now take a call. And if a developer has not done it till now, a customer can go to a big developer and say, look, 
hey, there is a developer who's already been announcing that these are the things, there is an equal rate of interest penalty, you know, if I cancel, I get my refund back in 30 days, etc., etc. So are you willing to do it? And if yes, can you put it down in writing? So a lot of these things are already happening, though not in a systematic manner, but they have started happening. Okay, Yogesh, I want to know from you, what is the legal validity of all the promises that this developer is making in his pledge? Uh, does one just believe his word? Do you expect that this developer will uh, go on and uh, rework his builder by agreement? And uh, we, because we know that there are so many clauses in the existing standard builder by agreement in the industry, which are eventually outsmarted uh, in the favor of the builder. So how does one ensure that whatever is promised is there in writing and in action? I, I think that's a very, very valid and important point to bear in mind. Uh, whatever is written in the brochures, in any case, there is a certain sen a sense of legal sanctity attached to it because you can make a, make a complaint on the basis that you relied on those representations uh, from the uh, developer. But at the same time, it is very important that these terms that are being offered are included as part of the builder-buyer agreement. And even if not exact language, but at least the buyers who are insisting on this should ask the developer to sign, uh, countersign copies of the brochure and keep them in record with them so that when in tomorrow if they have to go to approach a consumer forum or a court or approach any authority, they have a written evidence of the fact that they relied on a particular statement made by the developer. Okay, Ashwinder, very quickly from you, we're running out of time. Among the various assurances that Puri Constructions is offering, which do you think is the most important and will immediately strike a chord with buyers? I think their uh, you know, statement on the cancellation is fantastic, far-reaching. And, uh, you know, considering the property is also on the Dwarka Expressway and there have been certain delays and there would be a set of clients who would already be jumping on the seat and going to them and saying, look, you've already made this comment, so, you know, are you going to fulfill it? I think that is the strongest statement they are making and it will definitely boost customer confidence. Okay, it's all about customer confidence today and change must first begin from within. And if there is one real estate company who says, yes, it makes business sense to deal with home buyers on an equal footing, then what's stopping the other players, the rest of the industry? Rugesh Singh, partner, Trilegal, and Ashwinder Raj Singh, CEO, JLL Residential Services. Thank you so much for joining me on this short discussion. Okay, moving on to our Q&As with our viewers. Uh, we look at markets of Noida, Greater Noida, Gurgaon and Ghaziabad. And now on the line with us is Arvind Kumar. Hi Arvind, what's your question? Yeah, fine, fine. Uh, uh, actually, I want to purchase uh, a uh, villa in Greater Noida. Okay. Uh, my budget is uh, 2 to 2.5 crore. All right. So, uh, what is your uh, advice? Okay, Arvind, uh, you had also emailed us some options of villas that you've looked at in Greater Noida. Uh, one is Hemisphere uh, Golf Villa by Amrapali and Sun Twilight Villa uh, by Sunrise Structures. Uh, Dhruv, would you like to please uh, review these projects for him? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so the two uh, projects that uh, Arvind has shortlisted, the Hemisphere Golf Villas and the Sun Twilight, uh, both projects are a go-ahead from us. Uh, we've also recommended one more project for him, Golf Forest in Sector Zeta 1. So looking at the micro market around Parichok, uh, the inventory overhang is 37 months and the weighted average price is 4,800 rupees a square foot, growing at 5.5% per annum. Uh, the best project in our opinion uh, for him would be the Hemisphere Golf Villas. This is a part of a 100 acre township by Amarpali developers. This is priced at about 5,500 rupees a square foot and the project will be complete in 2019. Uh, the amenities in this project are very good. They include a nine-hole golf course, private swimming pools, amusement park, sports centre, mini jungle gym, wellness centre, etc. Now, um, Amarpali as a developer has uh, obviously a pro proven uh, track record and better amenities than uh, in comparison to the other projects. Uh, although the next uh, uh, recommendation is also quite good. Uh, which is Sun Twilight by Sunrise Structures. This is priced at 5,500 rupees a square foot. He can get a 200 uh, square yard villa in this project as well. Uh, these are fully furnished villas with private pools uh, with each villa and luxury amenities. Another recommendation we have for him is Golf Forest by Paramount Group. Uh, this is priced at about 
4200 rupees a square foot this uh, a square foot this is actually a, uh, an already completed project uh, this has fully operational amenities including clubhouse having spa steam room massage room sauna room jacuzzi business lounge restaurant etc all right so arvind those are the options for you or go ahead uh, to both the villa options and golf forest by paramount group in greater noida we'll move on to our next query from kuldeep shatriya he writes i want to invest in wave elegantia by wave city center in noida i want to earn rental income out of this project uh, it should be a luxury 2 bhk uh, which should be under construction uh, in my budget of 90 lakhs please advise me some options Okay, so Wave City Center. How is this project looking like? And in Noida, within 90 lakhs, uh, can you get two BHK luxury options? Yes, he can. In fact, uh, in our opinion, Elegantia is a good buy for him, given his uh, budget and requirements. Uh, we also have one more recommendation by Gore Developers, Gore Sports Foods in Sector 79. Now, looking at his requirements, we have chosen two micro markets. Uh, the upcoming region uh, we term it as the upcoming region which is sector 70 onwards and a cluster of sectors near the metro uh, looking at these micro markets the inventory overhang in sectors near metro is 22 months and in the upcoming region is 30 months weighted average price in sectors near metro is about 8 and a half thousand rupees and upcoming region is about 6000 rupees a square foot uh, the returns uh, in these sectors near metro has been moderate around 5 and a half percent in the upcoming region over the last couple of years have been very good 9.5% per annum uh, so the first choice uh, for kuldeep elegantia by wave infratech is a part of a 150 acre township uh, this is priced at about 8.5000 rupees a square foot this project is located at uh, right at the heart of noida adjacent to the noida city center metro station the amenities include high street shops business center luxury club uh, with all recreational facilities Uh, and the construction is actually by LNT our recommendation in addition to that is gore sportswood by gorson india this is priced at about 4800 rupees a square foot the completion of this project will be in 2017 and it has premium amenities like a large 30000 square foot clubhouse pool resto bar yoga room double height entrance lobby amphitheater etc All right, Kuldeep. Uh, so go through those options. Uh, we'll stick to uh, queries from NCR and also Noida coming up uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, we'll look at is it the right time to invest in the new Gurgaon region. Also on the North Edition, we'll look at Greater Noida West for options under 50 lakhs. We'll help you pick out the best housing projects. And for property seekers along the Dwarka Expressway in Gurgaon, on our property tracker today, check out Gulmohar Avenue by India Bulls Real Estate. <laughs> 